WTFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Um, we have a market that is, uh, I think we're down a little bit and one up a little bit and another. As Bi uh, Basil would say, we have a bifurcated market, folks. So going to be interesting to see uh, what happens here. The uh, inflation index was a little bit of a surprise. We had a, a big move in Treasury bonds. They went from 118 up to 119.20. And yes, Johnny is raising his little plaque up there and said that happened to be the one point or the six, three point three eight two. Re, sorry, Johnny, point three eight two retracement uh, right there at uh, one twenty two twenty two, which was the high so far today. That's a point and a half move in bonds, folks. That's a, a market that's been very, very uh, oversold. And of course, we've had a, a pretty good rally in that. Now, I've I posted a chart here of the uh, crude oil. And the reason why I'm bringing it up, I don't have much time to uh, complete this part of the sequence, but when we get into the next segment, I wanna go over this because I heard something on Bloomberg this morning uh, quite early. We had another storm here last night. We've only got uh, three more days before the monsoon is officially over, which will be on Rosh Hashanah. That doesn't happen all the time, but on September the 15th, uh, we have Rosh Hashanah, which is the day after the new moon, and that happens to be a big lunar cycle, an eight-day lunar cycle. And the old adage was, you buy on Rosh Hashanah and sell on Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur is the high holy, holiest day in the Hebrew uh, religion. Okay, let's take a look at this. And what we're going to do here is when we get back from our break, which will be very shortly, uh, in a minute, I want to go over and show you you know, why this is happening the way that it is happening, because it is really uh, quite unusual, because you can see here on this chart that we're up here at the $89 and 70, $89.63 has been the high. But folks, I heard someone on Bloomberg today say that this is the tightest supplies that we've had in oil in 10 years. Where, where was she when it was $130 when the, the, when the war started? Hello, operator. Come on. I don't understand that, but nobody challenged her uh, on it. So I guess the supplies are tighter now than they were back then. But why aren't prices higher? But they will be soon, I suppose. Okay, we're going to take a little break here. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. 